Welcome to Nerd Alert, everyone. We have another week of exciting stories for you. Um, I want to first introduce our special guest this week. She is a returner, mm -hmm. and she is like, rightfully so because we love her so much. <laughs> her name is Jessica Villarreal. Hello, hi. Got, like, hi, got to be real. Like, if got you'll to remember. be real. The realness. Yes. Thank you for having me back. Thanks I'm excited for to be here. Back. Jess is an uh, a host yes, of host. many mm -hmm. things, mm -hmm. notably. Best, Best game show ever, yes. which we are working on right now, and many, many other projects coming up that we're not necessarily supposed to talk about <laughs> yet. So please follow her at, at Jess V to learn all the news that's coming up. Yeah. Uh, but first, I want to jump into our first story, mm -hmm. which I think we're both excited about, or maybe yeah. not excited about. Mm -hmm. But what it is, is the Final Fantasy VII Remake. So we are, we were all pretty uh, enthused out of our minds when we saw that at the E3 announcements 2015. Um, and we're learning more and more about it as we uh, get further along the, in the development process. So what we've learned is that it will be episodic. It will be split into pieces rather than one maybe one disc that you would get, and many people are not pleased about this. Yeah, I don't agree with that at all, because what they're touting is that, you know, splitting it up into episodic content, they'll be able to keep all of the original pieces of the game mm -hmm. uh, within it. However, they say they wouldn't be able to get the entire game onto one disc if they did do it that way, but the original game was on three discs. <laughs> so it's like the original That's wasn't like on one disc. You're setting yourself disc. up for failure with yeah, that statement, which is it was never on one disc. Right, so that makes no sense to me. Um, one of my biggest concerns about having it as an episodic piece is, you know, sometimes these games take quite a while to come out, and the Final Fantasy series is so gigantic, and you can do so much in it, and there's so many stories going on, that by the time the next episode comes out, there's a very good chance you're going to forget mm -hmm. what you played. I would probably, unfortunately, have to wait until almost all of them are out and then right. start playing. Otherwise, I'd be seriously hung up and upset about waiting. And I don't know how long it's going to be. It might not be like Telltale where it's a reasonably fair amount of time between episodes. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing this would be quite a long time in yeah. between episodes. I mean, it does sound nice that they're saying we, we need to cut this up because we don't want to edit out any content because mm -hmm. there was a massive amount of content right. in the first one. Um, so they wouldn't be like, oh, sorry, we're cutting out the Golden Saucer stuff or right. cutting out this one mission that you loved that was weird. Mm -hmm. um, Which there were a lot of them. <laughs> all those weird missions <laughs> yes. will still be there. Uh, right. We have seen pictures already of Barrett mm -hmm. and Cloud. And Cloud. Uh, they look a little bit different, but that happens over the years, I yeah. suppose. Barrett looks a little bit like Wesley Snipes from Blade. A little That's bit. That's just something I noticed. But uh, another thing that sort of concerns me is the cost. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if, if it was just one game, it would be, you know, $65 with tax, just like all the other AAA titles out there. Mm -hmm. If this is going to be episodic, depending on how many episodes they actually release, like, could you be paying, like, $90 to $100 for all of the episodes when if they just put it as a, a whole package in one, you know, box, we would be paying the, you know, normal price of $65. Well, see, I think that's where a lot of people have a problem with here is we have a modern day uh, selling plan for games mm -hmm. of, you know, let's tack on a DLC, let's add right. um, whatever skins and whatever extras extra on a, uh, for an extra cost. Normally, we don't get it all bundled up in one package anymore. A right. lot of the times we've been missing, like, the true ending or oh, the yeah. ending of a game due to DLC uh, right. sales techniques. And a lot of people are very turned off about that. I mean, mm -hmm. and that's to be expected. We have this game that people have a lot of history with. Right. And they have fond memories of it. And that it just seems like it's clouded uh, <laughs> with this marketing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, I mean, obviously this, this is like the very beginning stages of all these announcements and all of this news, so we're really not going to know until later on. But yeah, just me personally, I, I don't agree with episodic. Mm -hmm. Again, if they're using the excuse of we can't get it all into one disc, it's not on one disc anyways, <laughs> the original. And uh, this series already has such loyal fans, and it's like if the formula isn't broken, don't try to change it. Mm -hmm. Oh, with the combat system, it doesn't even look like it's going to be turn-based, and that's that's that was that's a key element, right? Yeah. yeah. So this is probably one of the most famous turn-based RPGs of all ever. time. Ever. Yeah. Yeah. 
So we'll see how that goes. I think maybe I'd like to see a, a season pass kind of system where it's like you yeah. get everything for maybe fifty nine ninety nine. That would be okay with me at least. I agree. Uh, but uh, you know maybe it won't work out that way. Audience, what do you think of this? How will it go and how should it go? Let us know below in the comments and please like and subscribe for more.